Hey Eugenia, what is up? It's Dustin and uh, Merry Christmas. It's getting super, super close to Christmas. So yeah, um, I wanted to do a special video for you. Um, and this video is actually on the gift that I got you. I've been looking at stuff online and um, yeah, this is like really cool and I'm like oh my gosh I have to get it <laughs> so yeah I'm real excited to show you what it is so I'm gonna go grab it real quick I'll be right back okay so <laughs> I know how much you love Kingdom Hearts and everything so I wanted to get you Shion so yeah this is the Xion um, action figure from Bring Arts because I know you collect lots of Bring Arts stuff. So, yeah, I just had to get Xion. Um, she actually just came out in uh, October. So, yeah, um, just a few months ago it was released. This one was released. So, um, I thought, I'm like, oh my god, because I know you love Xion, Eugenia. So, um, yeah, and I think Shion is just super cool, too. And, uh, yeah, she's got her uh, Organization 13 robe on. And, um, yeah, she's got the, the Kingdom Key, Keyblade there. And, uh, yeah, you can... Um, I know you probably know how all the Bring Art stuff works, because I know you have a lot of Bring Arts. But, yeah, and this one um, has, like... Yeah, different hand positions, of course, for holding the keyblade and posing her in different ways. And uh, you have, of course, the different uh, head options here, including the hood on, because, yeah, when she's, like, you know, fighting in battle, she's got, like, that hood down and everything. I think when you were in, or when you were um, playing Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, um, I think you were battling her um, in those battles at the end, you know, with when he goes Zora and Dark Riku and all those. So, yeah, and I think she was one of the ones you were battling. She had her hood down and everything. So, I think she was pretty, pretty tough too to beat. But, uh, yeah, so it comes with the, the, those options as well. So, I thought it was really, really awesome. These These figures have like just amazing detail I can see why they are expensive you know because the detail is just incredible and I know these are um, collectors editions and everything so yeah yeah I just I'd never seen one of these up close until I got this you know um, until I uh, sent for this and yeah I'm just really impressed so I'm sure the ones you have are amazing so so I wanted to get this for you for Christmas and hopefully it'll be a nice addition to your collection of other Bring Arts action figures from Kingdom Hearts 3. So yeah, and I noticed there's like Japanese writing on this a lot and all over the back actually. So I'm guessing these are usually just, I don't know, I'm surprised there's just like no English at all really. So. I'm guessing these are mainly released in Japan and they're just like released in special limited quantities here in the US but uh, yeah looks like it's all Japanese writing so and you can see on the back there you can focus yeah so you can see there she is composer and all those different ways and everything so yeah, there's all the Japanese writing. I thought that was really cool. So, so that's that. And see, I can get get you a good shot here up front of Xion. Hopefully, there's not too much glare. So, hopefully, you can get a good shot of her right there. So, hopefully, there's not too much reflection. <laughs> But yeah, there she is in all her glory. Yeah, amazing detail there. 
So yeah, I thought it was just, uh, yeah, I thought it was so cool. She's in her Organization 13 robe. Um, I don't know, when I see this figure, it kind of reminds me of you in a way. I know she's got the short, dark brown hair and everything, but um, it just kind of reminds me of, um, what was it, uh, last year when you did your video with your Organization 13 robe and your Keyblade and everything. And uh, of course your hair is longer, but I just it just see a lot of similarities in the Shion and you, Eugenia. So look very similar. <laughs> So yeah, um, I didn't think you had this one. I know you have like Axel, and I know you have Sora. Yeah, I think you have a few Soras. Um, I think you have Donald, Goofy, and Mickey in Kingdom Hearts. Um, and I, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure if you had Roxas. I was thinking of getting Roxas, but I wasn't sure. I think I'm. I don't know if you might have Roxas. So yeah. Um, Oh yeah, there there is a lot. They act, there's just a lot there, um, and I know this isn't Kingdom Hearts, but they had Sephiroth too. So I'm like, oh my god, Sephiroth is awesome. So yeah, uh, the Sephiroth uh, collector's action figure looks amazing too. So, but I was pretty sure you didn't have Shion. So, and I thought she'd be a great one. You know, um, I know you love Shion's theme. I love that song, the Shion's theme song. Um, I like listening to that song. I think it's really pretty, you know? So, yeah, so, yeah, so, Merry Christmas, Eugenia. So, hope you like the gift and everything. And yeah, I'd uh, love to send you this gift um, to your house. That would be awesome, you know? Um, I got the box all ready to go and I can just send it to you right away, so. And I'm sure she'd like to be there with uh, all your other action figures that uh, that you have that uh, you have on display and everything. I keep wondering if you're gonna take your collector's figures out of their boxes or not. You know, um, I don't know. I I would probably take a few out personally. Um, it's hard for me to keep things in boxes. I know I have a few figures that are still in boxes, but yeah, I find it. Uh, hard to not open things. I love to like open things and like see it and play with it or whatever, you know, so. <laughs> but I mean, I know when you keep them in the boxes, it does keep their resale value or it keeps their, well, I wouldn't say resale value, like their collector's value or something like that. So yeah, I know a lot of people like to keep them in boxes, which is cool too, so yeah, so. I hope you have a great Christmas, Eugenia. I love you so much. Mwah. Mwah. There's kisses. Mwah. And there's another one. And I'm sending you hugs too, Eugenia. Sending you hugs. Christmas hugs. <laughs> so, yeah. I keep thinking, I, I would love to wake up and it's like, snowed outside, you know, on Christmas morning. That would be amazing. Or Christmas Eve or both, you know. One time in my life that has ever happened, um, I think it was like 1989 or 1990 when I was a little kid. I woke up one morning excited, so excited for presents and everything. And wouldn't you know, it snowed as well. I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, a white Christmas? Are you kidding me? I can't even believe it. It was like amazing, you know? <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, that happened one time. That was at the first house I ever lived on. Yeah, first house I lived on Hillcrest, so. So yeah, I'm sure you've seen a lot more white Christmases in Connecticut though, because you get a lot more snow, so. Yeah, it hasn't snowed here yet. Well, it did get, it did get a little bit of a dusting the other night, but no real substantial snow. So hopefully soon, maybe on Christmas, that would be amazing. So yeah. Okay, Eugenia, I love you so much. And yeah, hope you're having a good day or a good night. 
and a great Christmas and and I just just love your your uh, Jack Skellington Christmas tree you put up. I was so excited to see you put that up because I know that's like you used to do that a long time ago in some of your older videos and I know you hadn't I don't think put it up in a while so when I saw you put it up I'm like oh my god yes you know because that is the coolest tree you know I'd love to eventually get one but you know I, I still like my little Christmas tree you know I think it's pretty cool with my little village around there so yeah Okay, Eugenia, um, I'll see you in my next video, and I love you. Okay, bye.